Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Adriana DC. Happy New Year, you guys. We made it to the end of the year. We are on day 365 of the 365th day of the year. Could you possibly believe it, you guys? I saw this on Instagram and I never looked at things that way, you guys. This is the 365th day of the year. I mean, I think you guys should just be truly, you know, happy and grateful. I think you guys should be giving God thanks that the Lord spared you guys throughout the year, whether you're religious or not. I think you guys should give God thanks that we made it. We have, we've had a, a beautiful, well, I don't know what kind of year you guys had, but for me, <laughs> it has been a crazy year. It has been a year of many highs and many lows. It has been a year of realizations, family-wise, career-wise, just life-wise on a whole. It has been a year of reflection for me, you guys. So this year has been an up and down year for me, but I'm truly grateful. I'm truly happy to be here. I'm grateful for family. I'm grateful for the highs. I'm grateful for the lows. I'm grateful for the lesson that everything has taught me. And I'm grateful that God has spared my life thus far in order to take another shot at, you know, making my realization one that I am happy with for 2024, you guys. So I am really happy to be here. I'm happy to be here on YouTube. I'm happy to share my journey with you guys. And I'm happy that you guys are here supporting me. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you who have followed me throughout the year, who have supported me, liked, commented. You guys have made, you know, this journey very, very special, much more than you possibly think. Some days can be a little bit, you know, topsy-turvy. Some days I have the wall going on, you know, behind me. Some days I'm like, I don't know if I feel like filming, but I'm like, you know what, Adriana, let's get in front of the camera, get glammed up and just talk, you know, to my subscribers. So you guys mean a lot to me and you guys entertain me a lot more than I entertain you, you guys. So I just want to say thank you to all my lovely supporters. Thank you for the people that always, 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 always show up. I am truly grateful. As you guys know, I wanted to hit a certain target this year. Unfortunately, I did not hit that target, but I am still grateful. I have made some progress and I intend to hit that target, pick back up where I left off at the start of the new year, you guys. So, without further ado, tonight's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my most complimented fragrances of 2023. I have a couple of fragrances in here. These are by far probably my most worn fragrances, some of my most loved fragrances, some fragrances that you guys would have seen in my top 10 because, you know, these are the fragrances I have been wearing and that have guarded me some compliments and that I truly, truly love. And I want to share them with you guys tonight. So, if you guys are interested in seeing my top 10 most complimented fragrances for 2023 then please by all means keep on watching please don't leave without hitting that subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload support my channel show me some love especially for the new year and of course to all my returning subscribers thank you guys for your continuous support and without further ado let's just get into the beautiful fragrances that i have been wearing all year round that have garnered me some compliments before we get into the video, I just want to quickly show you guys my Christmas tree and some decorations that I got from Temu. I know this is the last day to, you know, light the Christmas tree, but I actually recorded this video on Christmas Day, but I've never vlogged at home with my entire family, so I felt like it would have been a bit strange, you know, vlogging while they were in their elements, you know, enjoying the Christmas mood, eating and drinking and, you know, unwrapping their presents and so on. But I actually filmed this video first thing on Christmas morning. My kids came and wake me up and I wanted to show you guys my Christmas tree. I actually got these decorations from Temu. I'm really happy to show you guys. The brand actually sent over these decorations for me to show you guys. And of course, just to explore. Obviously, Temu has loads of, you know, items, whether it be decorations, clothing, shoes, you know, different category of items for you guys to purchase. And so I was happy to try out some of their Christmas decorations, which I added to my Christmas tree, the bubbles and of course, these gold bows. And I got a few other little pieces, such as my little Christmas guy. I have a little Christmas guy to the guy to the side, which I'm about to show you guys. A little Christmas, um, a little Santa Claus that I showed you guys to the side, as well as two little golden reindeers, which I placed on the front of my living room, right under my television, which you guys can see right here. 
I just want to quickly show you guys these decorations and of course my Christmas tree, my lovely Christmas tree because this is going to be the last day to light the Christmas tree. Christmas time is a beautiful time of year and so I really enjoy, you know, these little decorations. I don't go crazy for decorations but yeah, I really enjoy these little pieces that were sent to me by the brand. Feel free to check them out in the description. A link to all the items that I purchased in my description box as well as a link to the website for you guys to check them out overall. They have loads of items but let's just get right into the video. So one of my most complimented fragrances for 2023 is Jimmy Choo I Want You you guys. I'm sorry, you guys are hearing fireworks. They're popping off, they're getting ready, prepped, and set. I'm really sorry about the fireworks. Anyways, as I was saying, one of my most complimented fragrances of 2023 is Jimmy Choo, I Want You, you guys. If I love this beautiful, fruity, citrusy, sweet, peachy, white floral with a light sweetness from the vanilla in this fragrance, I love this perfume, you guys. When I say I love this perfume, I love this beautiful fragrance. It reminds me of those fragrances. You know, back in the day, when they would sell a perfume, they would put it in the magazines, when magazines were a thing, and you could just, like, rub the, the magazine and you would get the scent of the fragrance. This smells like a magazine fragrance, you guys. This smells like the sample of perfume that you would find in a magazine. And do I love this perfume, you guys. I love that peachy, mandarin, citrusy, sweet essence to it. It's very elegant, ladylike, and pretty. And you guys, I took this perfume with me on my summer vacation, and this gave me bales of compliments. I want to say, this one here got me a lot of compliments, okay? Jimmy Choo, I want you. This is such a beautiful fragrance. It is an absolute joy to wear. I know it's controversial. Some people say it's simple, it's this, it's that. I don't care. I, it took me a long time to get my hands on this fragrance and I was actually detoured by all of the, you know, the comments saying that it's a boring fragrance and it's basic and all that. But I'm so happy that I kind of like, you know, dismissed those com these complaints and I bought this fragrance because I love this fragrance. It wears beautifully. The projection is quite decent. I don't get beast mode from it, but it's a beautiful fragrance that wears quite well. And this, my dear, is one of the most complimented fragrances for me of 2023 and i am in love with this beautiful scent the next fragrance that got me the most compliments in 2023 mark jacobs perfect intense you guys and this is also one of my most worn beautiful fragrances this is a beautiful fruity white floral sandalwoody fragrance with the essence of almonds okay there is a note in the heart of this perfume it's like a combination of the almonds and there's like a narcissus note like a floral note there's a zing in the heart of this perfume that is truly captivating and really beautiful you guys this fragrance wears beautifully you guys and i took it with me obviously i bought it this year as well and i took it with me on my summer vacation and i have no regrets i think so Jimmy Choo was one of my most worn. It was one of my most worn and definitely my most complimented Jimmy Choo. But this one here was my one of my favorites to pull for during the summertime. I thoroughly enjoyed wearing this fragrance. This is the, it smells a little bit clean, but it doesn't smell boring. It's not just like a, a citrusy bland fragrance. It's a beautiful, interesting, you know, girly, very elegant scent with some florals and of course those almondy touches. And I get a lot of the narcissus. There is something truly spectacular about this fragrance. And I know you guys have probably heard that a lot throughout the year. You know, perfect intense, is this, is that. But it's true. Believe it. It's a beautiful fragrance. It is not a beast mode perfume. It is not a fragrance that, you know, that like, you know, that that's very strong or whatever. But it's not a fragrance that is not very present, okay? It is a beautiful perfume. And I would say in the summertime, I know a lot of people say this fragrance is a beautiful scent to wear during fall. In the summertime. It blossoms, you guys. It blooms and it shines and wears beautifully on the skin, you guys. And I thoroughly enjoyed dousing myself with this fragrance during the summertime, you guys. So for me, Marc Jacob Perfect Intense, this perfume gave me loads of compliments. Like whenever people, you know, came next to me, they was like, oh my God, you smell really nice. You smell good. Or what fragrance are you wearing? This perfume right here garnered that kind of attention and that kind of compliments, you guys. So for me, 
perfect intense this is a beautiful fragrance that i thoroughly enjoy wearing during the summertime it was also one of my most worn fragrances for the entire year you guys next up we have the ysl leave the entente you guys this beautiful fragrance which again is another one of my most worn fragrances in my entire perfume collection this fragrance got me some beautiful compliments during the summertime now i didn't take this one with me but i think is i went on vacation in april not a vacation i went home for a very short not a very happy trip but this fragrance was the most captivating you know i had people sit next to me was like oh my god what are you wearing i was like this is why i said leave you guys the lavender and musk fragrance you know i it's like when somebody asks me what fragrance i'm wearing the youtuber in me comes out and i start spelling out the notes and just they just know that the fragrance smells good they will either say to me i get like florals or it smells like really pretty or something like that those are the kind of compliments that people give you but for me when somebody asks i just go all out into the notes and all that good stuff but yeah you guys know the ever so popular ways and leave the dna is so scrumptious and so beautiful okay it smells expensive it smells bold it smells striking and it's a very like distinctive scent for me i would say because i smell somebody wearing it recently in the mall and i was like yeah that's why i said leave but my way said leave intense this beautiful fragrance definitely got me some compliments it got me it had people asking me like oh my god what are you wearing you smell really really nice you guys so my YSL leave intense as a matter of fact i think the entire YSL leave is a compliment get up i haven't gotten much compliments wearing the um the sublime so far i haven't gotten much compliments wearing that one but all of the other fragrances tried and trusted and true are compliment getters for myself you guys so YSL leave intense definitely one of my most complimented fragrances of 2020 three next up we have yum pistachio by kaya lee you guys i took this fragrance on my summer vacation with me and this perfume it was that good that i sold that bottle and i had to buy it back when i came back home you guys it was that good i wore this fragrance to have to the heavens in anguilla like i swear to you one of my i want to say my most favorite release from Kylie overall for this year is Young Pistachio. I think it's a beautiful, scrumptious pistachio, whipped cream, marshmallow, cotton candy, sweet vanilla smell and fragrance. It is a beautiful, scrumptious smell and fragrance. When I said to you, I love this scent, I think that this is like this perfume. This offering is easily one of the highlights of 2023, which I already highlighted to you in my top, you know, um, my top releases of 2023. This is a highlight for me, you guys. And when I wore it for the summertime, it showed out, okay? It got me some compliments. I had somebody said to me, oh my God, you smell like you doused a whole bottle of fragrance on you. You know what it is with Kylie fragrances? Because whenever they advertise them, they always have it like spraying around and the sprayer is so beautiful. Like, whoo, like, I don't want to waste it but the sprayer is so beautiful you guys it's like when you wear kylie fragrances you just can't help but just like completely like just douse yourself with it because kylie sells this fragrance to you in that way and you think the only way to wear it is to just completely cover yourself in the fragrance and that's what i do you guys i did that and someone was like oh my god you smell like you literally douse yourself with this bottle of perfume but you smell really nice you kylie young pistachio definitely is a compliment getter for me you guys it is a beautiful scrumptious smell and fragrance and by all means definitely a highlight for the releases of 2023 this is young pistachio by kylie my next most complimented fragrance in my perfume collection is blush by carolina herrera you guys now this is one of the newest releases of 2023 okay and you guys probably recall me raving about this beautiful fragrance this perfume gave me compliments from here to the caribbean okay this is a beautiful smelling fragrance this is a fresh powdery pretty girl citrusy bergamot fragrance with the essence of vanilla there is a vanilla um a slight sweetness on the vanilla in here so but this perfume is a very musky scent now musk isn't listed and i don't really care what nobody says nobody can tell me that this isn't a musky powdery clean girl sweet bergamot smelling fragrance somebody can't tell me that they look like they've recently changed the notes that's listed on fragrantica let's just disregard <laughs> i know that's crazy but disregard this perfume is a, is a citrusy bergamotty fragrance it smells a little bit aromatic powdery bales of musk it is the most scrumptious smelling fragrance 
and I wear this to the year and when I wore it I actually layer it with, with Sandal Ruby by Carolina Herrera which is obviously a, a very um it's like a sandalwoody fragrance that's almost a bit Middle Eastern beast mode and really strong yeah beautiful scrumptious smelling fragrance beast mode of a scent sandal ruby and blush layered together is everything and more this fragrance this combination on a whole garnered me some compliments throughout the year you guys not just on my summer vacation before that here in england even with the weather I want to say I started wearing this fragrance like during the springtime or maybe come on like um, right after spring. I just know that I started wearing this fragrance when it was like a bit sunny-ish. It has They had some sunshine. There was some sunshine, but it probably wasn't necessarily summer or spring because you know, in England, the sun does come out, but it's not necessarily summer because it's dead ass cold. But I don't recall, you know, the actual temperature, but I wore this beautiful fragrance and it garnered me some beautiful compliments you guys so carolina herrera blush coupled with sandal ruby this was definitely one of my most complimented combos probably my most complimented combo of 2023 next up we have bitter peach by tom ford that is a beautiful fragrance you guys know how i feel about bitter peach okay when i smelled this fragrance i thought it was the best smelling fragrance in the world okay and i bought it and I had it just sitting down and I played with it a lot this year. I took it on my summer vacation, you guys, and I took it to town. Bet you like, people came up to me and was like, mm, you smell like really fruity and a bit florally and really sweet. Like, what are you wearing? I'm like, I'm wearing town for a bit of peach, you guys. This one right here, so definitely got a chance to shine in my perfume collection this year because I showed it a lot of love. I love this fragrance, you guys. I love it to the high heavens. I think because it's so expensive and it's time for I don't I tend not to pull for it a lot and because people have been raving about it I kind of like not try not to you know blow it up too much on the ground but you guys this is a beautiful fragrance it is still a beautiful scent it wears really really nice it lasts really really long I have seen people claim that this fragrance doesn't have good longevity that's not true okay I worn this perfume on date nights like in London and stuff like that and the clothes that I wore came when I when I took them out of my suitcase like a day after they still had this beautiful scent on it you guys bitter peach shows up and shows out and definitely garners me some compliments I love this beautiful fragrance and I, I would expect nothing less because this is Tom Ford and it's bitter peach I don't have last cherry so um yeah <laughs> can relate to the cries there but bitter peach definitely shows up and shows out tom ford style you guys so bitter peach by tom ford has definitely been one of the most complimented fragrances for me of 2023 okay so one of the most complimented fragrances in my entire perfume collection as in in comparison to like every other scent this one and another fragrance that i actually didn't include in this video because i haven't worn it in a very long time but my most complimented fragrance in my entire perfume collection is going to be La Nuit Trésor, you guys. La Nuit Trésor, this perfume leaves a scent trail out of this wall, okay? It leaves a scent trail that people just randomly stop and like, oh my God, what are you wearing? You smell really, really nice. La Nuit Trésor, this is a fruity, scrumptious, sweet rose fragrance with the essence of bergamot, mandarin, strawberries, passion fruit. There is some pear, lychee, vanilla. There's everything and the kitchen sink inside this perfume, but what you get is a beautiful fruity essence in the opening. You get that pear and it has in tangerine. You get those fruity, citrusy, sweet elements. Nothing jumps out at you more than the other. It's not too, too sweet, just more a bright boss of fruitiness, not too, you know, cloying or anything like that. You do have your caramel, your vanilla. I want to say the lychee definitely stars in this fragrance. But again, there's so much going on in this perfume. You just get a bright burst of fruity goodness, you guys. And it is an absolute joy. It's an absolute pleasure. It lasts. It projects. And this by far, one of my most complimented fragrances in my perfume collection has always been, okay? And I don't put this fragrance down. Every now and again, I pull for this perfume, okay? Last year and this year, I can say to you, Lenny Trezor, it has been one of my most complimented fragrances. It's just because I don't wear the same fragrance all the time. But in every single fragrance that I've mentioned here and in my perfume collection, Lenny Trezor has been one of, one of my most complimented fragrances out of my entire perfume collection, you guys. This is a scrumptious scent, a timeless scent with endless value. 
for years now you guys so Lani Trezan by Lancome this right here is the compliment getter of all compliment getters in my opinion next up we have a big boy a fragrance that you just can't help you can't help but compliment someone you can't help but smell it you know <laughs> and when you wear it you're gonna smell it the guards above are gonna smell it the people next to you you know the person next to the person next to you is gonna smell this beautiful scent because it is a beast i'm talking about oud bouquet by lancome let me tell y'all this is a perfume that if you wear it in the summertime or in the um the springtime you'll probably die okay you pass out but winter and fall is a time for this beautiful fragrance. And when you do, it commands an attention, okay? It demands attention. It gets you compliments. When you walk in a room, it makes an entrance. It shines. It is all around you. You smell it for the entire time that you're wearing it. But what I love about this fragrance, because I wore it not recently. I wore this fragrance actually recently. This is a cold weather fragrance. And even though it's a strong scent, when you wear it in the winter and the cold nights, it doesn't it doesn't bother you, you know. Because again, this fragrance it stays with you. It's gonna be very loud. It's gonna be like you know, it's gonna build a cloud around you, and you're gonna smell it the whole time. But it's not cloying, provided you wear it in the right weather. All I know is that this is a banging fragrance that definitely gets me compliments. It gets you noticed. Period, you guys close encounters and even people just walking by you know in the in the vicinity of you oud bouquet will get you compliments you guys so my beautiful oud bouquet definitely another timeless compliment getter in my perfume collection next up we have eden juicy apple by kylie and and i know this is the controversial one because a lot of people say this doesn't last this doesn't this this doesn't that that's not true okay i have of course i wore it on my summer vacation this year and last year and i've had people say to me when you smell when when i hug them this scent stayed on them this fragrance actually stayed on them i'm telling you even juicy apple this fragrance maybe as it macerates as it settles it definitely gets stronger and stronger the projection of this fragrance is quite decent it's not moderate this perfume can be a little bit loud depending on the temperature or if you wear it in enclosed areas or how much you spray and not even how much you spray because i sprayed it recently and it just completely took over the entire room Eden juicy apple definitely gets me compliments not only does it get me compliments i told you guys two summers that i went home i've sold this fragrance people love this perfume and whenever i'm wearing it people always ask like what are you wearing oh my god you smell really nice it's a really pretty fruity intoxicating scent you guys so my Eden juicy apple bet your life this is by far one of my most complimented fragrances. It's just a really beautiful, fun, chic, interesting smelling, very vibrant, pretty gold scent, you guys. Beautiful, scrumptious, candied wild berries, red apple, sweet smelling fragrance. It is a beautiful scent, okay? So my Eden Juicy Apple, despite it not, you know, for me, it lasts quite decent. I get five hours, maybe even six hours on this fragrance, and I definitely enjoy wearing the scent. This perfume definitely gets me compliments bales of compliments so this is eden juicy apple by kylie next up we have a valentino born in roma i know valentino has been spitting out a lot of gems and he's about to drop another one but the og still stands this fragrance will always be a love of mine like when i started off my youtube journey this fragrance was one of my top 10s for life and it is still one of my top 10s for life because it is a beautiful scent you guys this is a beautiful citrusy black currant fragrance with the essence of jasmine this is light sweetness from the jasmine and you have some bourbon vanilla and some guayac wood in the base this is your bad girl scent this is your like very chic womanly playful scent that you pull out you know when you're hitting the club that you thoroughly dose yourself with that stays with you all night you guys this perfume is a beautiful fragrance that definitely gets me compliments whenever I wear this fragrance. Now, this is not a loud scent. There's not a loud scent, but it definitely it, it lingers on the skin and it definitely has some presence. Like, if you're like um, in close encounters, you definitely get compliments from this fragrance. I've had people ask me, like, what are you wearing mostly? You smell nice. I mean, that's basically the gist of it. But yeah, Valentina Bond in Roma. I call it the bad girl scent. This is the girl's night out fragrance. This is a beautiful perfume to pull for, like, you know, partying, whether you're going to for all yours, whatever may have you. This fragrance shows up and shows out, and it wears beauty 
fully i do get a decent longevity from this fragrance five six hours they're about it's not peace mode but it definitely has presence and it's definitely a memorable fragrance you guys so for me valentina bon aroma definitely one of my most complimented fragrances in my perfume collection and there you have it you guys these are my top 10 most complimented fragrances of 2023 i hope you guys enjoy these selections let me know in the comment section what are your most complimented fragrances i am intrigued because you know i've seen quite a lot of fragrances that people quite rave about you know like the popular ones like um bianco latte i do have bianco latte it does smell nice but these are my die hard true fragrances fragrances that i have been wearing time and time that i have definitely you know gotten a good response from when it comes to compliments and you know smelling good on the whole and longevity so these for me are my top tier most complimented fragrances okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this list if in fact you did and you made it to the end please give me a very big thumbs up if you guys are new please don't leave without hitting that subscribe button Make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time I upload. And for those of you who are my returning subscribers, thank you guys for your continuous support. If you guys are partying, have a good one. Have a drink for me. Take a shot for me. <laughs> you have yourselves an absolutely wonderful New Year's Eve and a new prosperous and bright year, you guys. See you guys in my very next video. Or should I say, see you guys next year. Bye and be safe.